Hello and welcome to the channel. Today I'm gonna answer the most asked questions about Russian blue cats. So stay put, cause there are a lot of them. Let's begin. Do Russian blue cats shed? Do Russian blue cats shed a lot? Russian blue cats do shed, but they shed a lot less than your typical cat. They shed more during fall and during spring when seasonal coat changes. Do Russian blue cats like water? Not more than any other cat. There are some Russian blues that enjoy playing with water and some even get into the shower, but most of them will probably avoid getting wet. Do Russian blue cats like bats? They will most likely not enjoy bats, but if they are accustomed to them from a very young age, they will come to accept them. Do Russian blue cats get along with other cats? If the Russian blue has grown up with other cats, then yes. Otherwise, it will be difficult to get a Russian blue to accept another cat. Do Russian blue cats get along with dogs? Same answer as before. However, dogs can be even more difficult for a Russian blue to accept as they don't usually approach a cat in a cat-like manner. So puppies are a big no-no here. Do Russian blue cats like to cuddle? They do like cuddles, but not all the time. They especially love to cuddle in the morning and when it's meal time, so make sure you take advantage of those moments. Do Russian blue cats meow a lot? And are Russian blue cats vocal? Well, it depends. Russian blue cats tend to meow a lot and loudly if you fail to deliver their meal on time. But other than that, Russian blues are not especially vocal. However, if you keep talking to them, they will quickly start to meow back and you'll be able to have lots of conversations with your cat. The meow used when talking will be less loud and more pleasant than the one used when asking for food. Do Russian blue cats like to go outside? Initially, Russian blues are not very interested in going outside. If you take them outside, they will become interested due to their curious nature. However, once outside, they will be very cautious and will get very easily scared. So overall, I don't think they truly enjoy the outside. Do Russian blue cats scratch furniture? They do scratch furniture, specifically couches and beds. However, if you provide them with some scratching posts, such as this one, your cat will be less likely to scratch the couch. Also, with lots of patience, you can teach your Russian blue cat to leave your couch alone. Are Russian blue cats hypoallergenic? Not completely. They are more suited for people allergic to cats, because they are said to produce less of the proteins some people are allergic to, but they are not completely hypoallergenic. Sadly, all cats produce at least some of this protein, so in this case, a Russian blue might be a better choice. Are Russian blue cats aggressive? They are not usually aggressive. They are pretty calm and affectionate with their family. But if you don't respect them, for example, if you keep picking them up and holding them in your arms, despite them not liking it, they could potentially swipe at you. This, however, can happen with every cat. That's why it's important to learn and respect your cat's behavior. Are Russian blue cats big? Russian blue cats are definitely not big. They might appear bigger than they are due to their double coat and also due to their long legs. Nevertheless, Russian blues are moderate-sized cats with an average weight of 8 to 15 pounds when fully grown, males being of course larger than females. Are Russian blue cats lab cats? Russian blue cats are not usually lab cats. They do enjoy cuddles and they're also showing their affection by constantly following their owners around. They tend to bond with one person more than with others, usually the one that's feeding them. Are Russian blue cats good cats? Russian blue cats are definitely good cats and they seem to be moderate in every trait a cat could have. They are affectionate and do best as an only child. Are Russian blue cats friendly? Usually not from the start. Sure, there are always exceptions, but Russian blue cats are reserved and easily scared cats. They will not be friendly with visitors or with other animals, particularly because they're skittish. But once you gain the trust of a Russian blue, it's a completely different story, as Russian blues are affectionate with family members. Are Russian blue cats good hunters? Yes. Russian blue cats are excellent hunters. Moreover, they are excellent jumpers and climbers, so they can easily catch prey. They're also gifted with sharp instincts, making them a poor choice if you have birds or hamsters as pets. Are Russian blue cats indoor cats? Yes, Russian blue cats are definitely indoor cats. As I previously said, they are skilled hunters, so they pose a great danger for wildlife, especially for birds. Furthermore, they get scared very easily, so they could easily run away if you let them go outside and be too scared to come back. Are Russian blue cats easy to train? While I personally haven't seen videos of Russian blues performing tricks, they are very smart. Like, really smart. And because of this, they should be very easy to train. However, if you don't train them, they will certainly train you. Russian blues are known to wake you up at the same time every day to give them food, and they're also known for playing fetch. Not because they are trained to do so, but because it's in their nature. So don't worry, they'll train you in no time to throw them the ball. Are Russian blue cats smart? 
As I previously said, they love to play fetch, but they're also known for opening doors, cupboards and drawers. They are certainly one of the smartest cat breeds out there. Are Russian blue cats blue? Russian blue cats are not actually blue. Their color varies from a light shimmering silver to a darker slate gray. It can have a barely noticeable tint of blue, but this is not true for all Russian blue cats. Usually, their coat is a solid gray all over, with just the tips of the guard hairs being silver and producing a shimmering effect. The reason they are called blue is because cat associations like to give fancy names to cat colors. For example, gray cats are referred to as blue cats, while lighter shades of gray are referred to as lavender, even though the color is still gray. Needless to say, Russian blue sounds way better than Russian gray and definitely sparks more interest, so that's probably why this name was chosen for them. Are Russian blue cats loving? Are Russian blue cats affectionate? They are affectionate even if they're not on top of you all the time. They like others, but only when they feel like it. They also enjoy spending time apart from you, but they like to be in the same room you're in, so they follow you around. Are Russian blue cats jealous? They can be jealous, but not in an aggressive way. For example, if they want to be cuddled, but you are paying attention to another cat or to another person, they might try to interrupt you and gain your attention by being silly or doing something they're not allowed. But as they're not overly dependent, these types of situations will not happen very often. Do Russian blue cats like to be held? Russian blues, as most cats, don't really like being held. They might enjoy it if you get them used to being picked up from an early age. A very cute thing is that some Russian blues are shoulder cats, meaning they like sitting on your shoulder. Are Russian blue cats rare? Purebred Russian blue cats are relatively rare. So rare that the International Cat Association only recognizes 9 Russian blue cat breeders worldwide. As a comparison, there are 67 registered breeders of Maine Coon cats at the same association. So you'll most likely not find a purebred in a shelter, but you can definitely find mixed breed Russian blues and of course, when adopting you shouldn't care so much about the breed of the cat you're saving. Can Russian blue cats go outside? Because Russian blues get scared so easily, they should only go outside while being on a leash. But once you get your cat used to going outside, your Russian blue will probably drive you crazy. Your Russian blue will constantly ask to go out, meowing at the door and trying to open it. So you've been warned. Can Russian blue cats be left alone? Fortunately, Russian blues are independent cats, so they can be left alone for many hours while you're at work or doing chores. Moreover, they can easily entertain themselves by playing with toys, so you don't have to worry about this. Do Russian blue cats have blue eyes? Nope, Russian blue cats have green eyes. If a cat has blue eyes, it's not a Russian blue. Can Russian blue cats have yellow eyes? Some Russian blues can have yellow eyes, but this is considered a defect. If your cat has yellow eyes, it probably means your cat is either not a Russian blue or not purebred. But even if it's purebred, it won't be accepted into cat shows. However, your cat can still exhibit lots of these personality traits, even if it's a mix. Can Russian blue kittens have blue eyes? I asked several breeders, and while the answer were all a little different, here's what I learned. Russian blue kittens are born with blue and sometimes grey eyes. Their eyes might change at 7 to 8 weeks to a dirty fair yellow, but by 4 months of age, their eyes will start transitioning to green, starting from the pupil. By the age of 1, a Russian blue should have green eyes, but the shade of the green might continue to change until the cat is 2 years old. There are different shades of green a Russian blue can have, but the most sought after one is the emerald green. Can Russian blue cats have white markings? In adults, there are no white or other color markings whatsoever, except for the occasional white locket on the throat, which is considered a fault, and such cats cannot participate in competitions. Kittens can display some white markings, but these should disappear by the time they're mature. Can Russian blue cats have long hair? Nope, Russian blues must have a short double coat, which is very thick and soft to the touch, but definitely not long fur. Can Russian blue cats be white? Can Russian blue cats be black? Nope, a Russian blue cat must be grey in order to be a Russian blue. There are some associations that recognize white Russians and black Russians, but these cats compete in a different category. Do Russian blue cats have stripes? Some Russian blue kittens are born with ghost stripes, a reminder of the tabby gene that all cats carry, but these stripes disappear by adulthood. The coat must be a solid color, however, the tail may have a very few dull, almost unnoticeable stripes. Are Russian blue cats expensive? How much do Russian blue cats cost? In the United States, Russian blue kittens range in price from about $500 to $1,200, depending on the breeder and area. Breeder and show quality kittens start at $800 and go up to $3,500.
are Russian brocades actually Russian? Although their true origin is not known for sure, they are thought to have originated in the Arkhangelsk port in Russia. They are sometimes called Archangel Blues for this reason. However, the breed was developed mainly in England and Scandinavia until after World War II. So yes, their ancestors are probably from Russia. If you have any other questions, please let me know in the comments and I will happily answer. Now, if you want more information on the Russian Blue Cat breed, check this comprehensive video I made about Russian Blue Cats and subscribe because I will be posting more videos about Russian Blue Cats in the future. See you next time!